Greetings, fellow Cigar Box guitar luthiers, players, fans of independent music and musicians. Moses here from Burrell Guitars, and today I'm going to do a short tutorial on how I build knobs for my Cigar Box guitar. Volume knobs, tone, etc. I have an assortment of knobs, but sometimes when I complete a build, uh, I look through my knobs and I just can't find one that particularly complements the bill. So I create my own. The purpose of this video is to show you how I do it. Here an example of a knob that I've recently completed. Here is a potentiometer. Alright, so let's cover the materials for you're going to need to make these knobs. First of all, you need a 3 4 inch spade bit. You're going to need a 1 half inch spade bit. You're going to need a 7 30 seconds drill bit. You're going to need a piece of stock, quarter inch lumber, with a quarter inch hole drilled through it. You're going to need a small sheet of 80 grit sandpaper, a small sheet of uh, 150 grit sandpaper, a sanding block, And you're going to need, obviously, a potentiometer to check it for fit. And finally, you'll need a pencil and a ball of candle wax. Final piece you're going to need is a 3 quarter inch hardwood dowel. You can get this from your home improvement stores. This is a 3 quarter inch by 48 inch when it was purchased. I've gone through about half of this already. So the first thing you need to do is take that 3 quarter inch piece of stock lumber that you've used your three quarter inch spade bit to bore a hole through, put it on a flat surface, insert the dowel, and then mark your cut line. Next, using our band saw, we're just going to cut where we've marked it. That leaves us with a three quarter inch long cylinder. You can see I've already cut several of these. And this is what will become knobs for my next bill. Okay, to make sure you get these flattened out real good, you go back to your stock number with the hole, place the knob inside, put it on a flat surface, with your sanding block and your 80 grit sandpaper. Turn it over. Do both sides. Switch over to your 
150. Then now you've got a pretty even smooth top and bottom. Next, I like to find the center. Since this is three quarter inch in diameter, center point approximately three eighths. And you can measure this from four different sides just to make sure you're in the center. Then I like to take my half inch spade bit, mark a starter hole, now it's off to the drill press. Okay, now I have my spade bit installed and I have this set so this will only go down about an eighth of an inch. Leaves you with that. Now, using the 7 30 seconds drill bit, I'm going to drill a hole down to the center. This is set to a depth of about one fourth. The 7 30 seconds corresponds to the diameter of the shaft of the potentiometer that I'm using, and the one fourth is about the length of the shaft itself. Okay, the final trick is to make sure the knob fits on the potentiometer shaft. So to make this easy, you take some candle wax, rub the potentiometer shaft, get a good coating of wax on it, take your knob, Put it on, pull it out, push it in, pull it out, push it in, pull it out. That creates the grooves that corresponds to the grooves on the shaft. And there you go. Okay, so there it is. I'll be staining these, applying a coat of uh, polyurethane, and then I'll try these out on the instrument. I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial. I appreciate you watching. If you like what you've seen, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, on Tuesdays, I upload either a building tips or a playing tips video. And on Fridays, I upload a one-song concert. One-song concerts feature me playing an original song on the cigar box guitar. Thanks again for watching this video. And remember, friends, it's all about the box.